believe it. Yeah, never Every time off. I've seen him looking like Palpatine. And there's there's like Kylo Ren actually. He's a little more like Kylo Ren, I guess. He's yeah. more he's more flawed. I think because <laughs> Palpatine flawed was just Kylo evil. Ren. <laughs> Palpatine was just evil, right? That's true. Kylo Ren. He was 100%. He made it. Yeah. He was full dark side. Kylo had a little he had a little edge to yeah, him. Yeah, he is. He has some existential angst. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's just what happens when you're like 16 and all of a sudden you have superpowers. Yeah. I feel like that's how I matters is sometimes. Kid's young. He's only 17. Only 17, yeah. eh? Wow, making me feel like an old chunk of coal. So we're going to go right into it here on Battlefield. No? Handworm? Oh, big battlefield. Yeah, <laughs> thick battlefield. <laughs> That's definitely big a battlefield, warmer. yeah. I do know that Fox players enjoy playing on their battlefield for sure. Oh, yeah. They like the, pla the platform pressure, the things that they can get off those platforms. Just take them all the way up. I, I love how Lima's just sort of sitting there. It's just like, are, are you done yet? Is he one of those fellas that, uh, one of those taunting bayos that everyone is talking about? Um, I forget. I don't, I don't watch a ton of Lima. I do remember a certain set at Canada Cup where he was sort of sandbagging a little bit against JW. I heard about that. Uh, but I don't think Lima is I don't think Lima is really the type to try and just sort of tilt you like that. Yeah. But I'm not sure. But that's one of the things, right? You cannot get tilted against Bayo because that's exactly what they want you to do. Yeah, that's how you get uh, roofed or worse at negative percent. <laughs> is once you start playing into their game, yeah. So we're going to kick it off right on Town and City. I, uh, I like this pick for both characters, honestly. Bayo, Bayo's going to take you off the top. Yeah. Uh, but Fox, with those up airs, you definitely want to get those kills off the top early. Oh, this is a, uh, okay, he's coming back. So that's 38, yeah, good stuff to Imaters. Just get back to center stage. Yeah, but a strong opening statement here by Lima. We'll see what Imaters comes back with. Yeah, you're going to see Imaters going for a lot of hit and run. Just get the stuff that he knows he can confirm and then back off. Yeah, he's a very, uh, almost, not campy, but he's a very defensive fox. Uh, he's more prone to just reset the neutral instead of going for something wild like you might see Larry Lur. Yeah, well, you don't want to put yourself, especially against Bayo, in a position where oh, wow, you maybe the something like that. Yeah, you don't want to be in a position where you're just going to take so much unnecessary damage and or a stock. So it's good that he just plays like that, but he's got to hit those techs because that was only about 80%. Yeah, and Bayo will just rip you apart if you overextend. Yeah. Nice up tilt. He's looking a little better here. I think he's starting to settle in. Yeah. It's good. He's sticking with his game plan, even though he lost an unfortunate first stock. And... Oh, we got things happening. Wow, and that's, that's going to be kill. it. It felt like after the th I heard the third jab, I was like, that's not going to do it, is it? And then he exploded. Always assume just Fox is always, dead. Always just assume, yeah. That's like his favorite thing. It's like Fox Fox should just start with no stocks. That's it. You can just kill him. That's it. Just delete him off the character select screen while we're here. Just, yeah. Just take the disc out and scratch that specific part <laughs> where Fox is. Just so with he doesn't precision. even load, yeah. Uh, so, if I'm on, I'm, oop, we'll try that again. If I'm I modders. I'm going to take him to FT. Interesting. All right, we got the color change coming out for my modders. He's, All right, he's we're going the to red. Fox to red Fox. So he's going for Christmas colors here regardless. That's it. Good, looking for a Christmas miracle right now. Oh, my Lord. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's looking like he missed Christmas. Uh, yeah. It's looking more like It Kwanzaa is, in right fact, now. March, so Christmas is not going to help you here. Yeah, he definitely got socks. <laughs> Socks and a big old lump of coal. That's it. And now Lima is just gonna, just really gonna wait for Imars to do something that's an overcommitment, and then right back to the Bayo game. But he's he does not have to force anything. Oh yeah. And look for look for Lima to try something a little funnier here, as Bayos usually do. Oh, I think he if he was a little quicker, that down air would. And uh, unfortunately, Imars is just swinging right now. Oh, and that, no. that was fantastic. Yeah, it just complete evisceration by Alima there. Imaters tries, he might, he tried to make it happen. Uh, he tried to 